what is up oh man do i have some good news for you guys on the pacer build and you probably notice i'm a little bit uh heightened heightened sense of uh, emotion right now because there was a lot of pacers on craigslist a while back and it uh disappeared and i couldn't find anybody me and james we couldn't find anybody who knew the guy that owned all these pacers well they came back up and my neighbor dana texted me like immediately and it was very difficult to get a hold of him um but i did get a hold of him now sounds like he sold excuse me he had five i think i don't know if i said that sounds like he sold a couple of them already and i texted him like it had to have been like 15 minutes after he posted it 30 minutes super quick so obviously uh i wasn't the only one looking for a pacer but we're going right now to pick up two of them um just because at this point i've just learned a lot and we're gonna pick up both of them <laughs> i think james is gonna take one um so very exciting i'm gonna put you away real quick i just wanted to bring you along uh, i gotta get the trailer hooked up and i make sure i have all my straps and all that stuff so i can tell all right i'll bring you back when we get the cars all right so here are the quick the quick shots of this pacer i'm in a pretty big hurry but i promised i'd bring you along on stuff this one is not staying with me this is going to james this one's in good shape they're both in good shape and most of all they have clean windshields that are not broken uh engines look like they ran and drove when they were parked possibly so there's one there's actually another one he doesn't want to sell it yet or his friend is into it or something but that one's got bucket seats and a couple other different things with the windshields cracked and it's pretty rough now here's a piece de resistance everybody I'm gonna go drop this one off at James's really fast and come back for mine, which is amazing. Pace yourself. This is fucking gorgeous. 95. See that shit? Glass is all great. Doors open and close, really good. Pacemaker. Flame job. Oh, interior is pretty good. Windshield's good. Day is fading. I was supposed to, not was, it's not was yet. I'm supposed to meet Katie at 4.30. So we're getting close, but uh, James is here at the storage facility. He stopped on his way home from work to help me pick up mine. I just dropped off his at his house. Um, it didn't show anything because it's his house, um, but pretty pumped really 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 like mine uh, I think his is really good um, they were great deals and above all the windshields are good so it's super cool um, the guy at the uh, storage facility is super cool guy I caught up with him for a bit too so um, it was awesome meeting you man I know he said he's gonna follow along so I'm going to drive right now what is uh brown too so it's the next day and uh pretty pumped but i'm gonna kind of explain a little bit more what the plan is here and uh yeah pacers at home i don't know i did a little walk around when we first got it uh but it's got cool features like the doors lock and they close and open <laughs> Which I was having problems with that on uh, on this car, uh, like all the lock mechanisms, window window stuffs out, uh, like on both sides. I mean, obviously the car. This car was a parts car. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but it was a parts car that had already been pretty much gutted. So, um, which just kind of makes it a bummer, you know, when you're building a car. But this car is not, and uh, I really like it. I think I showed you guys that. But uh, it's in really good shape. The grill's good, the bumper's good. I mean, it hasn't been hit. Um, hood latch mechanism's all there. All the glass is good. The, uh, even back here, see if I can pop it up real quick. Ugh. 
it's got both the actuators <laughs> for the uh, hatch but like all the back here is all good which was missing like the spare tire cover uh, if you want to put stuff back there like do like a small fuel cell um, and like the interior is actually really pretty good obviously like all the plastic molding shit is is just garbage but because I mean they're a cheaper car but uh yeah I mean really clean AZ car uh, you know last tagged in 95 I was five years old the last thing last time this thing was tagged um, but obviously someone you know pretty funny you know the pace yourself a little pacemaker that I just showed you and then the flames but like the kind of patinaed flames I think is my favorite part about the car it's just so funny uh, yeah this car's a riot super cool um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out of this car and put it into this one so I'm sure you saw that coming reason being along with what I just explained as far as like the car itself also the windshield is good so I don't have a windshield issue um, and the title this car has no title um, so it was making it very I, and I could go probably get a bonded title I just was starting to not feel as, as excited about doing all these things um, just because of how rough the car is like driving down the road in the thing was terrible like terribly miserable inside like it would just be pretty much like straight up race car which is which is okay but that's not like really like what i like to build um i like to build stuff that i can go rip on the street you know or go take to take to uh whatever you know if we're going out and uh so this one has a title clean clear um so i can title it insure it and uh and then it makes it easier too when you're doing stuff like i was trying to troubleshoot the transmission in this car and uh you know you're taking around the block really kind of quick and sketchily because you know they can pretty much take the car at that point you're driving around with no title no nothing so uh, just little things like that will be out of the way and also i'm going to do it a lot cleaner um, because as you know i did this for the 3k hoopty build and i guess you can kind of call this the end of that because i didn't make it and uh and honestly when i go to put this stuff back into that car i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it a little bit cleaner um you know like I'll go through and clean up like the harness, like this stuff. Um, this is just kind of like for fun, for show. Um, like the motor's super dirty. You know, whatever. Um, I'm also gonna change the turbo kit so uh, it doesn't have to, uh, I want it all underneath the hood. I want the hood to be completely, you know, closed and everything be super chill that way. Uh, good news is I got a new master cylinder if I need it. <laughs> uh, but I'll probably just keep this car for like big parts i mean obviously you have doors that are somewhat okay um you have rear glass that's okay um, a couple things like that that's the plan as of right now just because i mean i bought it for a few bucks um from james so it wasn't what's well, not bad um we'll see I, I i'm gonna try to store it somewhere else just because I'm, I'm tired of looking at it out here so uh that is the plan for this pacer <laughs> the pacemaker man it's pretty cool um there is actually a bonus part to this episode and it's gonna happen right now so this is my hand what did we buy i'll zoom in oh no <laughs> the donor car for the zephyr Really clean, 505 speed. From James. <laughs> he's not super pumped about it, but it's okay. This car, he's had it for a bit, and uh, he did a lot of work to it, and uh, finally convinced him that I needed it more than him. So it'll stay, uh, it'll stay like this for quite some time. Um, until I'm basically ready to gut it and then uh, put it all into the Zephyr, which is probably the last thing a lot of you would do if you had this car, but just kind of have the vision of the Zephyr being uh, a 505 speed car itself. And I think that cool factor there is pretty high. So um, that's the plan. This was the, the uh, special ending of this video. Two more projects, why not? Uh,
you know, I just can't sleep at night from the stress. But other than that, everything's great. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching. Real quick, I did not talk enough about the Mustang because as I was driving home, I was thinking, uh, <laughs> thinking of a couple things I didn't tell you. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram of the car in my my uh, driver's mirror. This car, like being in like a notch Mustang, was uh, a huge. Um, reason why I got into cars because if you think about it I'm 28 so the age range fits in perfectly when these cars were very very hot not that they're not now but I mean like they changed the game really and we all know that very popular a lot of people love them the same way I do but um, I, in my own personal life there was a lot of different times where I, uh, I wanted a Fox and got kind of talked out of it or or whatever all these different instances so this is really like the legit first time um, you know I've had uh, a notchback Mustang in my possession especially a white on red 5-speed 5.0 um, which is huge because white on red is my favorite um, <laughs> so good so anyways I'm very excited to have the car and the car is actually going to stay like this for for a while um because i got a lot of backlog i mean you guys understand that and on top of that i want to enjoy the car the 5.0 um, i'm gonna make peace with the fact that it's not going to stay like that and that drivetrain will live on in this car which i think is going to be really cool um in its own right um so i'm excited for that as well but um you know for me i want to enjoy it as it is it runs and drives great james did a good job um, with everything he did with the car and uh, maybe I'll even go ahead and explain a little bit more of that uh, later on but for now back home I got like 37 cars so I'm going to uh, just revel in that glory <laughs> so once again thanks for watching and we'll see you on this next one